Hey, this is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, I got a little uh, short video for you, and this is about dealing with chalky surfaces. And this will um, kind of apply to um, houses, or we're gonna actually show you a door, a metal door that's extremely chalky, how I dealt with it and how I went about painting it. So if you run into this, don't paint over chalky surfaces without prepping it properly. There's one method you can do and you can just really power wash this using a rotating agitating nozzle to get all that chalkiness off or you can just scrub it and clean it by hand. This door was a small door, didn't have access to um, water and a power washer where I could power wash it and make it fast and easy. So I just wiped it down with some simple products, a product called Crud Cutter, and I'm gonna walk you through that process. Now, if I had a large house to do, I'm just gonna power wash that thing using an agitating nozzle and it rotates and agitates and it cleans really well. And I've had a whole lot of success painting ch uh, chalky surfaces just doing that. If you get to the point where it's still a little bit chalky and you're uncomfortable, try Emulsabon. Add that to your paint and it, uh, it, it's an additive to paint that uh, makes paint bond to chalky surfaces a lot better. But here's some tips and tricks painting a chalky surface coming your way. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this thing off. That's it off, got some spider webs. You know, around the back of this thing, I'm gonna start removing some of that stuff off this door. I'm gonna be masking. I got a simple hand masker I'm gonna be using to mask with. I've got this. This is a guard plate right here. I'm gonna be removing that keeps people from breaking into this place easily. So I wanna remove, I have the luxury of removing this thing at least. I'm going to remove this and then we'll just paint this by itself individually. We'll lay it down on a piece of cardboard and paint it. And then I'm going to be cleaning this door. I'm going to clean it off with a um, product uh, cleaner degreaser product crud cutter I'm gonna grab my crud cutter spray that on here so that can start drying this thing just removes with a Phillips head screw I'm gonna be masking with some frog tape uh, blue and green frog tape I don't want anything bleeding through on anything I don't want painted. Good to have just a duster brush to get things dusted and cleaned off. Once again, I don't have the luxury of removing the door, so I'm gonna be just masking off my hinges with frog tape right there. I'm gonna spray on my crud cutter. I just got a rag. So this is gonna get um, you know, some of this chalkiness off. You can see your paint will have a problem adhering to that chalky surface. So I don't have the, you know, the luxury of um, you know, power washing and stuff back here behind this building. So this will work just fine. I do have some water back here. I'm gonna scrub it and then I'll rinse it off with water. Make sure there's no contaminants on it so this is just crud cutter it's a cleaner degreaser and my clean water will help get more of the chalkiness off this is just gonna help clean the surface so got my crud cutter on there now I'm just gonna Rinse my rag and get more of this chalky residue off here. Now it's important to keep cleaning your rag, otherwise you'll just be smearing it around this chalky residue. If you're spraying like with a latex paint that's um, a product called emulsabon 
will help your latex paint bond to a chalky surface. But we're gonna be able to get all this stuff off. And then it's back here, it's fairly warm today. So this should dry off extremely fast for me to be able to mask and spray it. It's not a porous surface, it's just a metal surface. So I don't have water absorbing into the surface. When it comes to, you know, painting something like this, the prep work is really important, especially on a high traffic door like this. Get good adhesion of your product. If your water starts to get too dirty, just, you know, get some clean water. Now, one of the things you can do to test whether your door is clean enough, you could just wipe your hand on it and see if you've got any residue on your hand. You know, you should have a pretty clean hand. You know, if not, just clean it a little bit more. I'm gonna get a dry rag, wipe it down really quick. If you gotta do any sanding or rust removal, this is the time to do that. Rust-Oleum does have some products, rust inhibited primers that will stop rust, but this door is in good condition and ready to go. So I'm gonna start masking this thing off, get it all prepped and ready to spray. So there you have it, some tips and tricks, painting a chalky surface or actually painting a door and even spraying it with Rust-Oleum spray cans. The thing came out absolutely amazing. Looks better than if I sprayed it with an airless sprayer. It's been done with uh, industrial enamel from, uh, from Rust-Oleum and it's a um, high, high traffic industrial enamel that's gonna last a long time. Absolutely look glassy. Paint stuck very well and it's going to hold up for many years. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's simple, free, easy to do. Like everything on my social media is free, free videos for you. Some of the video, some of the products or stuff or tools used in the video, they're down in the video description below if you want more information about that. So check the video description and hopefully we'll see you on on or in our next video.